And as the heat wave continues to hover over our state, your air conditioning unit is working even harder to keep your whole house cool. But as the temperatures continue to rise, our Lauren Jackson joins us now with ways to try and keep your energy bill low. Lauren. Yeah, Steve Catherine on time HVAC services says they saw the highest number of incoming calls they've seen in just one day this week, more than 750 requests on just Monday. But if you don't have time for an expert to come check out your AC here in the next few days, there are some things you can try to do yourself to stay cool inside. Your house is probably going to be a little warmer than you'd like it to be over the next few days. As the heat wave hits Alabama, it's time to prepare your AC. Most people over the next several days, their air conditioner is going to run almost nonstop. But no matter how low you set your thermostat, on-time service owner Carrie Atkins says it's only built to get about 20 degrees lower than the outside temperature. Most cooling systems in Alabama are designed to give you about a 20 degree drop from outside temperature to inside temperature. Well, if it's 100, right, you're, you're, it's only going to get to 80. So you may go, it's hot in the house, but your air conditioner may just be doing all that it's capable of doing. Adkins says if you follow the 20 degree rule, your bill shouldn't spike during the heat wave. And if that just seems a little too hot for you, drop it lower at night. Let it run more at night to cool your house down. And so then it's when it starts, when that temperature starts increasing, you know, you're starting from say 70 degrees instead of 75 degrees, and it's going to make your house feel comfortable for longer during the day. Closing your curtains or blinds, changing your AC filter, and keeping windows shut will also help keep the house cool. And if you have an outside unit, experts say make sure it's clear from debris. If there's weeds or vines or leaves or anything that is piled up around your outside unit, go ahead and move all that stuff out of the way. Cut the weeds back, get the vines off, get the leaves away from it because that outside unit needs to breathe. It needs to have good airflow for it to dissipate the heat that it's pulling out of the inside of your house. Now they're saying you just got to make sure you use those fans over the weekend, but they say attic ventilation is also really important this time of year to help keep your house cool. So if your ductwork is in the attic and your attic is not ventilated, if it's about 100 degrees outside, it could be up to 150 degrees inside your attic and that's going to be heating up your cool air.